Matthew seems to be the guy who you can trust when, if you're reading a script, you can turn to him because he's an actor. Do you think you could only be in love with someone in the business? I mean, I know the guys you've dated. We've talked about it in the past. Robert Downey Jr., Nicolas Cage. Mm -hmm. um, if Matthew's listening, I'm sorry I'm bringing all this up. <laughs> okay. uh, John F. Kennedy. <laughs> John F. Kennedy Jr., which I don't. I would never want to follow that guy. I mean, Matthew must be a very <laughs> secure man. <laughs> when did you know you were in love? I knew pretty quickly. I was going to the movies one night with my brother, and I showed up at the film forum, and my brother was meeting Matthew's best friend, um, and so then Matthew was there, and then that movie was sold out. So we walked up to 8th Street, and then we were going to see um, Fisher King. Do you remember? Robin oh, yeah. Williams. Robin Williams. And um, the movie wasn't starting yet, so we went across the street and got some pizza. But we had been told by a filmmaker that I had just finished working with, Andy Bergman, who wrote and directed Honeymoon in Vegas. He wrote and directed The Freshman and Blazing Saddles and The In-Laws and things like that. Or wrote those movies, um, directed our wow. movies. What and a he talent. had told he's incredible. Yeah. And he had told Matthew, you know, I'm working with Sarah Jessica, you should meet her. And he told me, You should meet Matthew. And so we met him, we we're like, Oh, Andy Bergman. And then we were both seeing other people, so it was illegal. And we stayed away from one another and then we you had mean our you wanted Matthew, but you were being loyal to the person you were seeing. We understood that we had to do right by the other people and break up officially. Like we couldn't be Oh my Catting God. Catting around. Mm. So we had our first official date on March 8th of 1992. And we've been together ever since. And, um, but. What does that mean, been together ever since? Did you move in together right away? Was he, it that he's intense? He's never, we've, we've never spent a night apart since then, with the exception of wow. work on location, or his mother was ill for a bit. Um, so he went to take care of her. But from that first night, we've never been apart. And. Wow. So then pretty soon into our relationship, I, I felt like, yeah, like I'm, I, I'm in love with him and he's and what really is love, incredible. Exactly. What is love to you? Well, I think first of all, I just admired, I admired him. I loved his work. I had seen all of his movies. I had paid to go see them. I'd been on location shooting movies and gone to see them and, um, I could remember every place I'd seen him, but I didn't realize that I was a fan. You know, I just thought I'd right. like his work, but I liked his person very much. He's so smart. He's so funny. I like his choice of friends, the way he was living in New York, what was important to him, how he kind of traveled around the city. You know, he's always traveling on, on this bicycle. He's been riding bikes since he was 14. He was on a messenger bike, you know, with no brakes and holding onto buses and, oh. um, really smart and really talented and he was i thought so beautiful and handsome and charming and our lives we had been brought up in similar ways our lives were very different but things in our house were very much the same the things that had been influencing my parents very much his parents they were different and but there were touchstones in our home that were identical, which was probably the case with a lot of people from our generation who might be city kids, you know, or yeah. Pete Seeger was playing or this or that, or, you know, a, a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah. And I just, you know, I love being home in New York. I loved, I wanted to build a life here and he was born and raised in the West village. Literally. He's never lived North of 11th street. <laughs> wow. You guys sound like you have a, an unbelievable marriage. I know so many actresses who said, who said to me, I will never marry a guy who's an actor. <laughs> I will never marry an actor. It's just they, they fucking get competitive mm. and they can't be happy for you when you mm. have a success. Yeah. And I mean, it's jealousy and it's just too much. I you think, know? yeah, I think that's all possible and it doesn't mean that. I'm not of him sometimes and he's not of me. I don't know. We, you know, we haven't kept track of that or I haven't felt it, but yeah, I'm sure that's all possible, but, um, but he's just happened to be the person, you know, that's not, I can do nothing about it.